Today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new self-loading rifle for the medic class that made it to the game with Turning Tides DLC. The so-called Far Far Hill comes to the game in two variants and that being the Storm one with improved accuracy and the optical one allowing you to put on a sight on your weapon. First and most importantly, if you want to unlock this weapon, for the Storm variant you have to perform 25 kills with the M1907 SL Trench and in one round perform 10 revives. To unlock the optical variant however, you will need to unlock the storm variant first because this one requires you to get 25 kills with it, plus on top of that you need to complete 20 squad orders. Assignments are incredibly easy, so you shouldn't run into any problems while completing them. Generally the Farfar is designed for the medium range combat and while it is good in the medium range combat, I would go as far as saying that this weapon is a jack of all trades for the medic class. Because while, yes, it is mainly designed for using it on the medium range, you can also use it on the short range and you can extend it to the long range while still maintaining a good usability. The weapon can fit 20 bullets in its drum magazine and it can shoot them out at the rate of fire of 257. It deals 42 damage at the distance between 0 and 34 meters and then it slowly drops off to 30 damage per one shot on the distance longer than 52 meters. As we can see statistic wise this weapon is quite decent and it actually looks good. But is it really the jack of all trades between all self loading rifles? I think it is. And here is why. If you encounter someone up close, the rate of fire combined with the magazine size actually allow you to spam enemy with bullets and it is effective. Even though the weapon has quite a noticeable kick and you really have to pull your mouse down when you keep spamming with it, it's very accurate while doing it. And the same tactic applies for the medium range. You can even see it in the gameplay that sometimes I just don't care and I keep spamming enemies with bullets on the medium range while maintaining quite a good accuracy. Although I have noticed that there is something wrong with sights on this weapon. It seems like it's not zeroed properly or the sights don't line up with the shots exactly because sometimes I'm shooting and I can tell that I'm aiming exactly at the enemy's head and my shots end up flying above it for no reason. Also the second interesting thing I've noticed about this rifle is that even if you are shooting on the long range, the bullets actually fly straight and they end up hitting the enemy. Of course if you compensate for the broken sights, but if you take it out of the equation, those shots are actually accurate. It literally feels like the random bullet deviation is turned down a little bit on this weapon and because of that, those bullets actually fly where you are aiming. If you don't know what I'm referring to, just take M1907 and try shooting someone on the long range. You will see that your bullets will not fly straight, even though that you can compensate for the recoil spread and all of the other things happening, your shots will still end up missing the target. Overall I find that it's always best to go for something like semi-aggressive playstyle with the Farquhar. I wouldn't really call it aggressive because you are not running straight into the enemies like with the Autistico or Model 10A Hunter, but you are still sticking with your team, staying close to the objectives and most importantly to your teammates to either heal them or revive them. I kind of feel like DICE has finally realized that it wasn't really the best idea to give medic class weapons for the medium to long range engagements because if they stay on the medium to long range, how exactly are they supposed to revive teammates on the front line? So now they are trying to compensate it with DLC weapons. And I have to say, it's going quite well. So now comes the question, is it the best medic rifle in the game? Ah, uh, I wouldn't say so. Though I can say that it's the most versatile one because, as we already established, you can do well with it in any given situation on any given range. Plus, on top of all this, it's actually got a nice skin. I know that majority of you probably don't care about this, but I do. I need something nice for the thumbnail. And what else can I say guys? If any of you guys are still having second thoughts about unlocking this weapon, just go for it. It doesn't require to do anything crazy for the assignments and you will see if you like it. I guarantee you will do well with it on the medium range and everywhere else it will still be quite useful. Before you click off the video, just remember that Incursion's Keys giveaway is still going on my Twitter, so 
If you still don't have access, just go there. There is a tweet explaining all details of the giveaway. And that would be it for this video. I have to say one more thing though. I'm quite impressed when I see other YouTubers doing 10 minute weapon reviews where they are talking 5 minutes about the weapon and other 5 is just pointless rumbling because they want to get video to 10 minutes. And I'm not kidding right now. I'm actually impressed because I can't talk about nothing for 5 minutes myself just to make the video longer. In all seriousness though, as always guys, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.